everybody, this is Julianne. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to my home here in Santa Monica, California, and welcome to the new hair. I finally went back to red, and I am wearing one of my resin earrings that I created. If you are interested in my monster earrings or any of my art, you can find me on Instagram, jewel underscore of underscore Hawaii. In today's video, before I start Pot of Fame for the month of November, highlighting pot babies, since we are wrapping up the year, it's December 1st, I cannot believe it. I am gearing up to film my end of the year planter with the help of my grandma. So she's here and she's in the house helping me with the collection and gearing up for this big end of the year plant tour and just going through the collection seeing what plant babies are not doing good putting them back in the greenhouse if they have a chance to survive or we're just gonna have to say goodbye to them and this is something i do this time of year every year also shout out to my grandma for slowly rearranging the patio for a slightly different look because it's nice to always have a different eye a different perspective when it comes to styling plants in my space so I noticed she did a few different things here. So stay tuned for end of the year plant tour. It's gonna to be either a four or five part series. Then we're gonna do Pot of Fame for the month of December. And then we're gonna wrap up the year with our third annual Planting with Julian Plant Awards, highlighting 12 plant babies for the year 2020. And we're going to crown one plant baby to rain for the next upcoming year i thought i like help myself recap what december is going to be like for me um, and i will be vlogging every day for both the channel and for thursday's check-in for vlogmas in today's video i just randomly went around the collection i tried to get different plant babies here and there not just all house plants but maybe a succulent or two and a cacti so that you can see just different variety and what the collection looks like this time of year that are just really thriving and you know most of the time if you just don't pay attention to the plant or if you step away from your collection you come back you see so many changes that you would have like maybe overlooked if you're looking at your plant every day so without further ado i want to talk about my raffidophora tetrasperma i don't know if it was featured in last month's pot of fame or maybe the month before the raffidophora but tetrasperma which is right here was my grandma's pick to highlight for today's pot of fame so i'm not too sure if this one was in last month's pot of fame with all the filming that i do but this was her pick so i wanted to acknowledge that because she's been spending time with the plants while i was away in las vegas for the work week and she wanted to nominate the raffidophora tetrasperma now this plant was living in my bathroom full time but because it's getting really big and now it's staked up i decided to move it into my studio in a plant gang there so you will see my studio plant tour you will see the raffidophora tetrasperma with a bunch of house plants so it has now moved to the inside of my studio i really love this plant a lot i think it was one of those trendy plants for 2020 and i hate saying trendy plants because i love all plants whether they're trendy or not and this was one of them i think that everybody kind of wanted for the year or last year i think the pilea was last year or maybe the year before that was a trendy plant and i still love that plant to this day and then the rockford of i think was another popular plant but regardless i love all of my plants whether they are common or rare and this one is doing really good now ever since i staked it out of course it's promoting new growth so you see lots of new leaves here and then this leaf just unfurled for me while i was in las vegas how precious is that it's almost like the same color as my earrings and i do have my moisture meter in there it lives in there full time i have so many that they just kind of live in certain plants so it's easier for me to just walk by and see what's going on with them another plant that is doing really good and i wanted to highlight this one because it is a rare plant so if my rare plants do give me any new leaves or any new movement activity i will highlight them and this is my painted lady it was such a small cutting when i got it from a tray from a subscriber and here we are look at this a new leaf slowly unfurling on its little pole that i made and if you haven't watched planting with julen staking up my smaller house plants go ahead and check out that video because i probably did maybe around eight or ten plants staking them on these smaller poles or slightly bigger and this is like the perfect size for a plant that is not a really huge like an adult size plant or maybe a small planter this is like the perfect size and as you can see 
it is super happy comment down below if you have the painted lady do you like the plant do you find it to be rare in your part of the world is it a giver if you have the plant and then you can see here there looks like there's some um, like a little baby perhaps down here I don't want to mess with the root system so I'm not gonna check if it's a baby or part of the main plant. My allergies is acting up. So that is my favorite planter, my favorite thrifted planter and one of my favorite uh, philodendron house plants. So two begonias that I got in Santa Barbara over... Did I get this? Over the summer? I wanted to highlight them because they were doing really good out here when I was away for a month or so and then I brought it into the bathroom and take a look at it now. So as you see here, there's tons of new leaves. So my begonias from Santa Barbara, I think these were the two that I got at the same time. They're unidentified, I don't know the names of it. So if any of you guys are familiar or have this plant and know the ID, sound off in the comments down below. So here we go, we got some little blooms happening here. Like how cute is that? I will see when it opens up, I'll grab a picture of it and then I'm going to dry it and put it into my resin art. And there's, yeah, so a lot of new growth here, just in different parts of the plant. So I just wanted to highlight this begonia because it's giving me blooms. So I thought this was a fun begonia to highlight because of its little blooms. And I can't wait. Hopefully, I will be home when this opens up for me. So this lives in the bathroom now. And if you watch my if you watch my bathroom plant tour, my humidity runs around 80, 75, 70 to 80 percent. And then here is the other begonia. And if you look really closely, like here's a new leaf right here. And then there's another one that popped up right here. I just there's certain begonias that I just love and adore. There's another one too in the bathroom. Has super, super tiny little leaves. Oh, near and dear to my heart. I just, I'm a sucker for them. But some of them can be so dramatic that like after three times of purchasing, I won't purchase again. But take a look at this. Look at this new little leaf that unfurled. Probably like over the previous day or two. So cute. So I couldn't pass up Pot of Fame without highlighting these two begonias even if I made, maybe talked about them recently. Let's talk about Sensevarias because my Sensevaria collection is always giving throughout the whole year. This was part of a trade. I don't know the ID of this one. It's considered a rare one for me but I wanted to highlight the baby that is slowly making its way. Look at how cute. Isn't that adorable? so cute right and also shout out to my Japanese nails this was my belated birthday gift to myself in Hawaii and I love my nails a lot so anyway this is my new little baby that I wanted to highlight and I'm really happy because this is the only rooted cutting that I have and I can't afford to lose this so I'm constantly watching especially it is on a super variegated side I don't want to ruin what I have and I'm so thankful for this little baby speaking of variegation I have my gold flame sensevaria that was in rough condition then I purchased it in Las Vegas but I was very hopeful it was the only one left that I would eventually get some babies from it so let me show you what is going on in its planter whoa look at this there's so many babies okay let's count the babies here we have one small baby here two three is that four four and I'm sure there's probably one down here under the soil about to pop up but anyway take a look at that a little baby here and then three more mature babies and this is the condition of the mother plant it was in super rough condition but I was really hopeful that it would just give me babies and I can start all over again. Sound off in the comments down below. Do you have this sense of area? Do you consider it to be on the rare side or on the common side? For me, in my part of the world, this is considered rare. And that's the reason why I bought it in the rough condition, knowing that sensevarias are giving plants and eventually I'll get 
like my money's worth with uh, the baby so yeah super happy about this and I think the last time I did pot of fame I highlighted my will fin and that plant baby is also giving I think I might have sold at least five fins from that mother plant and I think I have three or four babies so it's super giving Talk about another variegated baby this is my crocodile aloe my variegated crocodile aloe super cool um, but you know it's one of those plants that you're gonna just keep on the side and kind of forget about it don't water it too often but look what I just seen this morning do you see that there's two babies right there so cute the camera can pick it up there's the two little babies I'm so happy about this I'm gonna make sure that it gets proper lighting I always try to turn my plants especially if they're against a wall I always like to rotate them but this is my variegated crocodile aloe sound off in the comments do you guys collect aloes I have a fairly decent sized aloe collection but let me tell you anything that's variegated I will gravitate towards too but that doesn't mean that I don't appreciate an all green succulent cacti or house plant but this is so cool I'm trying to think when did I purchase this plant I don't remember and I'm trying to remember where did I even buy it I can't even remember that either I would have to refer back to my video kind of in the same area this is one of my uh, zigzag rickrack epiphyllum and or uh, epiphyllum angular and this was a rescue I believe I got this in Long Beach it was in really rough condition um, but I wanted to save it and it is now living I think by Bob Marley in that section of the collection but I wanted to highlight look at this this new part that kind of just popped up from the main stem of the plant so I'm really happy about that to see another section growing slowly but surely it is so tiny and then this is you know one of those plants where unless you measure the plant you wouldn't really tell that it's growing on you but it did not look like this when I purchased it so this is just one of those plants where you're just gonna plant and kind of let it do its thing I also see some growth down here so that makes me happy this is in a coco coir mixture with orchid bark and I think pumice and coco coir with form casting so very chunky mix I wanted to highlight this rickrack because it was a rescue and it was looking really really sad when I bought it and I wanted to highlight something different in today's video so I'm really proud about this plant baby. there's two more plants and I think I'm gonna take you to them because they're in certain parts of the collection and it's hard to move so let's go so to this them. is a plant baby that I would like to highlight in today's video this is my trailing jade and I just I am a fan of Senecio's this one in particular has been with me for a while now and as you can see every part of the plant is giving me new growth like take a look how cute is this so so the cute trailing jade this particular senecio can get super purple in the sun but i guess there's not much heavy sun in the patio and it's like full green which is kind of sad but it's okay there's no sun stress on it but every section has new growth so this is a very prolific giving plant and i never ever had problems with it i just love being able to have plants on my studio vintage door and this is one of them that is just doing really well I have I think maybe two more trailing jades in my collection but this one is the biggest one and that's been with me I think the longest so very cool update okay, here is the last plant baby of pot of fame for the month of November recap and this is my gorgeous Hoya compacta and I wanted to just highlight all of this gorgeous new growth on the top so if you look here lots of new growth and then if you look up here there's some new growth and of course every section is slowly growing and it's just one of those plants where you can't really tell until you start measuring and maybe seeing if it's touching the floor 
but this has not bloomed on me since it was gifted to me for my birthday last August. I'm hoping one of these days it'll bloom for me because I would love to have this in my art. But these back trails here are so long that I think they might be almost touching the ground. But as you see, take a look at this trail. It is so huge. But I try to not touch it because I don't want to damage the trails. But I wanted to at least show you that it is growing slowly but surely. But I'm just waiting for it to bloom for me again. Alright you guys, so that is going to wrap up this month's Pot of Fame. Highlighting a handful of November plant babies that I wanted to share in today's Pot of Fame. Wrapping up the month of November as we are finally entering the last month of the year. Sound up in the comments down below if you have any of the plants that I shared in today's video. Are they giving you lots of new growth for you? And if not, what plant babies did really well for you for the month of November? I would love to know in the comments. And that is going to wrap up another monthly pot of fame. I've done this monthly series of mine now for over a year. And it's just nice to sit down and talk about plant growth and highlighting the collection because I have hundreds of plants. I think this is just a fun thing for me to do and just share with you guys what the, what the collection looks like every month. So... That is going to wrap up another pot of fame and hopefully we'll be able to gear up very soon for the end of the year plant tour. I think I'm going to start really focusing on that once I'm done with my vending weekend which is coming up this weekend. So that's going to be it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed 11 episodes I think by now right? 11 episodes for the year of pot of fame and I hope you guys enjoy seeing the collection every month which plant babies are thriving for me. And I'll see you soon. If you're new, welcome to the channel. Subscribe for daily uploads between the main channel Monday through Thursday and the vlog channel Friday through Sunday. You get a video each and every day. I'm pretty sure I'm going to stick with this uploading schedule for 2021 because I'm able to upload on both channels every week, sharing the week. And it's been working for me. So I hope you guys enjoy Monday to Thursday on the vlog channel with Thursday check-ins and Friday through Sunday for the vlog channel because I enjoy sharing content on both of the channels. I'll see you soon. Until next time, aloha from Santa Monica, California. Bye.